Well, good evening, everybody. A new day, a new class. Let's see. Today we are going to be working with adjectives. But right at the beginning, we are going to work a little bit with prepositions of plate. Just to make a small review, we have a homework also so there's a lot of activities to develop and that's actually good with the book Okay, okay, okay. Connecting right now, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Ready for the class? Uh, ready. 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 Okay, that's excellent. That's actually great. What? That's actually great. Eso es algo muy bueno. Okay. We have a lot to cover today. Let me see. Yeah, we have many activities today. We are going to make a review of there is, there are. We are going to work with uh, adjectives. So it's going to be fun. It's actually going to be fun. We have many things to do today. So tell me, how was your day, Jenny? Um, very busy. Very busy? In the work. At work. In, in at work. Mm -hmm. At the, work. No, you don't say in at work. At work. Just at like. work. Okay. 
So let's see, let's see who is reporting, who is in a traffic jam. Andres, Okay, traffic jam. Let's just tell them, try to connect as soon as you can. Yeah, actually, and Andres, if I'm not mistaken, no. he rides with Cesar, no? Ah, okay. Sí. They yes. go together. Ouch. So that means that Cesar is also going to connect a little bit late. So? Ya se conectaron más, teacher. Yes, me and you and mm. you and me. <laughs> Let's remind the students, let's see. Hmm. Smells like food. They're prepared dinner here. <laughs> So, you had a busy day. Tell me, can you hey. tell me about your day, please? Uh, many, oh, a, a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work uh, in the computer today. Mm. All right. Uh, doesn't okay. that stress you? No le estresa? Sí. Sí, es estresante, pero. Yeah. No yeah. sé cómo decir. Bueno, le dije, sí, le dije a mi jefe que no dejara salir a las 5 porque si no, no alcanzo a venir a tiempo. Me tardo como hora y cuarto de regreso. Oh, really? Sí, de la, el tráfico. Oh, but you drive, you tell me. Pero usted conduce, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. I drive, I drive. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, and tell me, could you describe your workplace, Jenny? ¿Cómo? Tell me, how's your workspace? How's your office? Eh, is este no tan grande. Not so big. No, not so big. Okay. Mm, what do you have on your desk? Uh, in the area uh, in the estoy yo solo hay one desk. In my working area? Stay with okay. me. In my working area? In my working area? There is there is just one one just desk. Just one day. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Jenny. Marcos, hello, Marcos. It was right here. Oh, there's also Anna connecting right now. Hello, Anna. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, okay. That's good to have you here. We are talking about the, we are practicing there is and there are. 
So let's see. Yes. La, me dice de la tarea. No, no, wait, wait, relax. No. relax, relax, relax. <laughs> but actually, do you have the homework ready? ¿Tienen la tarea lista? Ana? Yes. Okay, sí. tell me the sentences. Yes. Great. Eh, la tarea era de teacher era de ah, por ejemplo de de is, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. De 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 ar de ar hay eh, es si, si son tijeras, tijeras, o sea, Scissors. ¿cómo se dice tijeras? Tizer, tizer. <ríe> eh, they are to well, eh, they are, hay iron, one iron, the uh, one iron, they are, I, oh, I'm Russia. sorry, remember, when you are saying one is, there is, there is, there is. Ah, yes, okay. when we are talking there about just is, one, is there is. It, okay, there was. Uh, there is a, a computer. 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 There is a mirror. A okay. mirror. Excellent. There, there is a child. A chair. There is a makeup. Okay, thank you very much. Makeup, makeup. Makeup, makeup. Great, excellent. Now let's see, Jenny, what about you? Tell me your homework. Uh, yes, uh, I use there is. Um, there is a lot of honey in the bottle. Honey. Honey in the bottle. Okay. In uh, uh, in affirmative sentence in negative sentence. Whichever you want, no problem. Okay. Bueno, there is little milk in the fridge. Okay. Uh, there are five pots in the kitchen. Excellent. Uh, there are children in the pool. Great. There are 50 people in the party. Okay. Five pots in the kitchen. Wow. Uh, too many. Oh, yes. Yeah. Too many. <laughs> Muchas. Okay. Thank you very much, Jenny. Let's see, Vicente, what about you? Oops, the sentence freeze over. Eliana, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Eliana? I'm fine. Good. Did you prepare your sentences? Yes. Okay, please uh, tell them to me. There are many nails polish. Okay, nail uh, polish. There are many table. Okay. There is a bathroom. There is a TV. Okay, excellent. Only teacher. Only that. Okay. <clears throat> that's good, that's good. Okay, Vicente, hello, how are you? Hello, very good teacher. Are you ready with your sentences? Yes. Please tell me the sentences. Uh, I tell about my home. Okay, great. There are four bedrooms. Okay. Uh, there are two medium bathrooms. No sé cómo se dice eso en inglés. Medium bathroom? Oh, no. Half. Half. Half, half bathroom. Bath, half bathroom. And there is one complete bathroom. Full. Full bathroom. Full bathroom. Yes, you say half bathroom. 
is the ones that there's just the toilet, right? Yes, yes. The toilet and the sink. Okay, right. Thank you. Half and uh, full. And yes. a pool. There okay. is one pool. Okay. Uh, there is a living room. Okay. There is a kitchen and there are two gardens and there are some dogs. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let me see. I'm just checking something. Let me see. Thank you, Vicente. Mayra, what about you? Do you have your sentences ready? Yes. Please, tell me. Uh, in my work, there yes. are some house in this, in this area. Okay, perfect. Uh, there aren't any doctors in my work. Okay. There is a bag across from the Plaza Italia. A bag? Bank. Oh, a bank. Banco? Bank, yes. Yes, yeah, sure. No problem, no problem. Please continue. And there are three toilets in the office. Okay, three toilets. It's plural, remember the S. Toilet. Okay, Toilets. Great. Okay. That's it? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Carlos, what about you? Ready? Uh, yes, uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, there is one printer. Okay. There, there is one laptop. Okay. There, there is one car. Perfect. There is, there is coffee. Plural, uh, there are shoes, there are teachers, there are many, many motocross, uh, there motorcycles. are... You mean motorcycles? Mot mot motocyclists, motocyclists. Motorcyclists. Motorcyclists. Yes. Okay. Uh, there are many balls. There are Pelotas. many balls. Many balls. Okay, okay, okay. Tengo una incontable también. Yes, tell me, there, tell me. There is some sugar in the in the kitchen. There is some sugar. There? There is some sugar. Some sugar. There is some sugar in the in the in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Okay, okay. excellent. 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 Okay. Great. Well, as you can see, it's very simple, no? Let me see, hold on just a second. Let's see who else is here. As you can see, it's very simple. When we use there is, we are talking about that something is there, the presence of something, that something really exists. Like in this moment, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight students in my class, you see? In this moment, right in this moment, there are eight students in my class. That means that we are missing of the regulars. We are missing Andres, Cesar, they are coming late. Who else? Daniel. And... Hmm. I don't remember who else. Jennifer. Yeah, that's right. We are waiting for Jennifer. Let me just check a little something, guys, because this is very important. Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. 
Uh, today we are going to make a small review. Okay. In the review, we are going to make, we are going to talk a little bit about, uh, how do you call it? About the prepositions also, okay? Because the prepositions is a bigger topic and we need to talk a little bit about it. We're going to, to work also with there is and there are. Just give me a second. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see. So let's start now, like seriously. Hello, Marcos, how are you? Hello, teacher. Do you have your homework? Yes. Please give it to us. Okay. Uh, in my world area, there is. Okay. There are com computers. Uh, there are a few cars. Okay. Uh, there are two doors. Two doors. There is, there is a print. A printer. A printer. There is an air, air. Air. Con, air, ¿cómo se dice acondicionado, teacher? Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Uh, there, there are three, Table. Okay, Only. there are three tables. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. Okay, with this, please, as yesterday, take a picture of the sentence and send it to me, okay? Don't forget it. Okay, now let's see. There is and there are. And the preposition. Let's start with the heavy part of the class right now. Okay. First off, we are going to make a small review about the prepositions of place, okay? Oops. Hold on. My bad. Got to be... Bad. Okay, now let's see. Okay, we have the prepositions in front of, over, in, between, next to, behind, on, under. You remember, we were working with this yesterday, right? So, this is the question for us. Where are the animals? Where are the animals? That's the question we are going to be working with, okay? Where are the animals? So, let's start. Okay, let's see. Anna, tell me, the total is behind, in, on, under. What do you think? Anna. Hello. Where is the Hello, top? teacher. The tour, the tour is, is, is under. 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 Let's see. Under. Uh, uh, under the tongue. Under again. No, no under. Uh, in. In. 
Do again. Okay, try again. I know. It's on, remember, Anna. Oh. Okay, remember, the turtle is on the table. It's on the table. Hi, hi. Okay, thank you, Anna. Let's see. Carlos, the elephant is related to the bus. Next to, in, in front of, or behind? In. Let's see. Perfect. Thank you. Next, let's see. Let's see. I got Ileana here. Ileana, the dinosaur is related to the box. Under, on, in front of. Under. Oops, sorry. We were missing one, behind. Or all this, which is this? Under, on, in front of, or behind? Behind the tree. Under, teacher. Look, as I told you, it's related to the tree. It's behind, atrás de. Under is abajo de. Okay? But let's... Eliana, you have another opportunity. Related to the tree. Relacionado con el árbol. The dog is over the tree, between the tree, in the tree, or under the tree. Eliana, what do you think? Under teacher. Yes. <laughs> Under, that's right, thank you. Now let's see, Jenny, this is for you. The dog uh, is. Is the, the dog is in front of his house. Okay. In Perfect. In front of. Excellent. Now let's see, Marcos. The elephant, the elephant is related to the blackboard. Next to, between, over, on. The elephant is... ¿Qué significa bed? Between. Bed, bed, así. Between, entre. Okay, I will give you a hand. Let's see, let's see. Don't worry, Marcos, don't worry. In this case, they are by a side. Está a un lado, ¿verdad? So, we say that it's next to. Next to. Next to. Thank you, Marcos. Now, let's see, Mayra. Hello, Mayra. Hello. The lion is related to the giraffes. Tell me, between, in front of, behind, or next to? Between. Between. Great, excellent. Now, Vicente, the frog is related to the plants. The frog is over the plants. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Okay, that's very simple, no? That was very simple. We are talking just preposition. As you can see, on, in, in front of, next to, they are very simple. Like right now here in my screen, in my screen, look. Carlos is between Ileana 
and Mayra. Because in my screen, I have everybody, okay? So in my screen, Carlos is between Ileana and Mayra. In my screen, Jenny is next to me. In my screen, Anna is next to me. Okay? I am between Jenny and Anna. Okay? In my screen, Vicente is next to Marcos. And in my screen, Ileana is under Jenny. And Ileana is over Vicente. So that means that Vicente is down there. Okay? As you can see, we use it all the time. We use those prepositions all the time. So we are going to practice a little bit more. Let's see, uh, there's one activity that uh, we needed to do the day of yesterday. Okay. And we are going to perform it right now. The activity is the following one. We need to create a short conversation, like two or three participations per person, where you use there is and there are, okay? You're going to create that conversation related to your workplace, okay? There is and there are. Remember, yesterday we did the first part. We created the sentences. Do you remember? El día de ayer hicimos la primera parte. Creamos las oraciones acerca de nuestros lugares de trabajo using there is and there are. Now, those sentences, we are going to put them into a conversation. Este día, esas oraciones las pondremos dentro de una conversación. I need at least two participations per each one of you. Necesito como mínimo dos participaciones, two or three, per participant, por cada uno de ustedes, okay? So, but the conversation is going to be, let's see, there's going to be one pair and the rest is going to be groups of three, right? Oh no, let's do it in pairs. It's going to be simpler. Just let me create the groups. Any question before I create the groups? Alguna pregunta? Teacher, un ejemplo. Hi Jenny, how are you? Very good. Okay, Jenny, uh, you work in an office, don't you? Yes. yes. Okay. Is there, a, is there an air conditioner in your office? Uh, there is one in air condition okay. in my office. Great. And tell me, are there uh, many people in your work area? Uh, there aren't uh, many people. Uh, there are some people. Okay, perfect. So, as you can see, that's what I want. Eso es lo que quiero. Is that okay, Marcos? Thank you. Yes. Okay, great. Excellent. No problem. No problem. It's good that you ask me. Es bueno que me pregunten. So, we have everything clear. So, you ready? I'm going to divide you right now. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am creating the groups right now. Let's see. Um, okay, okay, okay. Erica, can you participate on the conversation? Hello. Hello. Okay, yeah. Hello. You can use Hello. the you can use the microphone. Perfect. Just checking the audio. Yeah. Great. Let's do it.
Erica, you are going to Vicente's group. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, in the office, uh, mm -hmm. and, Great, you, Mark. and you uh, do you work uh, from homes or going to the office? Se cortó, Marcos, no entendí. Okay. He asked you, do you work from home or do you go to the office? Uh, to the office? I go to the office. I go to the office. Okay. Uh, there is um, a computer in, in the office? Uh, there are... A Six computer in my office. Okay. Uh, there are there are uh, there are phone in your office. Uh, there is one phone. Okay. Okay. Listen, Marcos. Remember, when you are making a question, it's not there as there are. You have to. Turn it around. Are there? Cuando hacemos una pregunta, le cambiamos el orden a esas primeras dos palabras. Okay? When it is a question, instead of saying there are, you say are there. En lugar de decir there is, usted dice a la hora de hacer la pregunta, is there. Cambian de lugar esas dos palabras, okay? Okay. Is they in your office? Eh, Table. Eh. Carlos. Hello. Hello, teacher. You have been left alone. Me lo han abandonado. Sí, sí. <laughs> Wasn't Mayra with you? No estaba no. Mayra con usted? No, no. Okay, wait a second. I'll go check on the main room to see if she's there, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, there she comes. There she comes. Mayra, where were you? Se nos había perdido. Hi. Hi. I have problem with the internet. Okay, don't worry, but Carlos is here waiting for you. Okay. Hello, Mayra. Hello, Carlos. Uh, is there an engineer? No, there is an engineer. Is no. there? If it's a question, is there? Okay. Is there? Is mm -hmm. there an engineer? an engineer? Uh, no, the no, there isn't, Erica. Okay. Is there are um? Human resources? Is there a human yes, resources there is. office, perhaps? Okay. A human resources office. A human resources, a human resources office. Okay. Yes, there is a human resources office. Is there a... Um, Mm, a computer office. Only. Um, only. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Oh my gosh, Jennifer, you look tired. Yes. You look like ah, uh, wanna sleep. Teacher, I have a question, but not the conversation thing. No, uh, this is the uh, question. Okay. Yeah. Tell me. Actually, on Friday. Yes. 
si tienen alguna duda, el día viernes a las... Eh, yo voy a agarrar un ratito de la clase para que podamos resolver alguna parte que no les quede muy clara, ¿ok? Ok. But that's going to be Friday if you have any doubt. Si no, on Friday, si usted la quiere hacer en algún momento del día viernes, during the day, se contacta conmigo y le voy a pasar el número. Este, no lo puedo poner en el grupo, pero le voy a pasar el número de who is going to, who can assist you. Sobre quién les puede eh, ayudar con las generalidades y todo ese proceso. ¿Ok? Ok. So you can contact those persons by chat and they will call you. Y esas personas se van a comunicar directamente con usted. Ok, teacher. So, uh, just let me know. If you need any help, you can perhaps let me know tomorrow. Uh, si tiene algún momento durante el día de mañana, donde quiera que ellos le ayuden, me avisa y coordinamos con ellos. Perfecto. Teacher. Yes. Y yo le puedo escribir a, a su personal. Yes, yeah, sure. Sure. Ah, ok. No problem, no problem. I'm here for you guys. Ah, vale. gracias. Just that in this case, if you need assistance directly with that team, eh, I can refer you directly to them. Es mucho mejor si lo refiero directamente a ellos porque ellos manejan toda la información al dedillo. Ok. Usually I don't work with the, with the nota de satisfacción because it's about the class. So I don't usually get into it. But Any doubt, communicate with me and I will help you. Y si hay algo que yo no les pueda ayudar, yo les comunico con, si, con quien sí si puede, ¿ok? So don't worry, Liana. If you want, you can text me whenever you want, ¿ok? Even for things about the class, you can do it. Thank you. Perfect. Ok, let me go check on another group. Ok, Jenny. In... Uh, repeat, please, Carlos. There are two books on the table. Uh, no, there aren't. Okay. There, I'm, there... I'm sorry. Good evening, Cesar. Good evening, teacher. Remember, Carlos, if you are making a question, the words change the order. Okay? It's not there is. Is there. Recuérdese, si está haciendo una pregunta, cambia el orden. En lugar de decir there is, ponemos is there. Instead of saying there are, we say are there. Like, tell me, Cesar, are there many people in your house? No, there aren't. Okay. There are just a few. Yes, yes. Okay. You see? Please continue. Okay. Two minutes, two minutes, okay. because you will represent it. Okay, thanks. Carlos, okay. is... There is an, uh, a window in my office. Okay. There is an... You ready for mm -hmm. presenting the, the conversation on the main room? Recuérdense que vamos a presentar la conversación en el main room. Okay? ¿Cuándo? When we finish here, por eso hice el model de una conversación, que es lo que ustedes iban a preparar acá para presentar en el otro. You're going to make a role play, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Bueno, creo que no va a haber problema porque ya nos preguntamos, todas esas mismas preguntas nos volvemos a hacer en el... porque si no las anotamos. Ok, ok, perfect. If you have the enough commands to just make it like freely, that's even great. I mean, that's even better. Si tienen la libertad y la facilidad de hacerse las preguntas y contestarlas así, without reviewing, that's even better, okay? You can just practice it here. Okay. Y también voy a preguntar era en inglés. No sé. Coffee maker. Oh. Oh, by the no way, Eric. How do you say cafetera, Hi. teacher? What? How do I say what? How do you say cafetera? Coffee maker. You were right. Coffee maker. Or coffee, coffee machine. 
coffee machine. Yeah. Okay. How's your hand, Erica? Um. A forty-one. No. Yeah. How's your hand? How's your hand? You told me that uh, you hurt your hand. Perdón. Um. Mal. But, but it's um, not broken. Or yes. Not broken. No, broken. Okay, yeah, because that's terrible. Yes. Okay, in two minutes we go back. So be ready to represent the conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, is is there? Remember, hello guys, remember in two minutes we go back and you must be ready to represent the conversation, okay? You need to represent yes. it in the main room. Excellent, excellent. Please make okay, Mayra please. speak because Mayra is like, oh, I don't want, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. You ready guys? Yes. You ready to make the conversation in the main room? ¿Están listas para representar la conversación? Mm. Eh, no recibí todas las indicaciones. <laughs> the idea was for you to create a short conversation using there is and there are. Practice it here and represent it in the main room. Okay. Two minutes. Hurry up. Okay. Thanks. Okay, guys. Hello. ¿Cómo se dice extin extintor o extinguidor? Extinguisher. Extinguisher. Yeah. Extin extinguisher. Wow, you are using all the vocabulary from the company. <laughs> sí. That's great. Uh, I'm going to stay for a few seconds here because some of the groups have not finished yet. So we are going to give them one extra minute. Okay? Okay. So let's see. Jenny, tell me. Uh, I don't quite remember. What is it that they do in your company? What? Okay. What do they do in your company? I do... The company, the company. La compañía, la empresa. Ah, uh, eh, el nombre... Eh, no, what do they do? Ah, okay. Eh, sales y service de equipment for eh, analyzer floor. To analyze floor, analy floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Floor. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. No floor. Floor is uh, the, the, the piece <laughs> of floor. Floor. Arena. No. Sí, floor. 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 Okay. Floor. Uh -huh. Okay. Marcos, your company, oh, you are installing uh, cameras, no? Yes, yes. Uh, in support, support software in the camera. In cameras. So you installed in houses or just in companies? Uh, house, company, Mm. Office. Mm. Okay, and what is the minimum of cameras you install? I mean, if you go to a house, you don't go just for one camera, you go for many cameras. Uh, one, one camera, two camera, three camera, four okay. camera. Depending on the person. Yes, yes. Depending on the client. And Wow, how much is the cost of the service? Do you know the prices? Perdón, teacher, no le comprendí. How much is the cost for one camera? Imagine I want to, I want to put uh, one camera in my house. One, one camera costs uh, Twenty, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, and in and the installation service. Uh, 
only camera uh, in installation uh, with installation uh, fifty dollars. Thirty dollars. Mm. Yes. Not that expensive, actually. Uh, yes. Uh, so it, yeah, it's cheap. No. Cheap. cheap. So, le puse la poma. Okay, cheap. the word the word is this. Cheap. Hey, it's not that expensive. Cheap. Cheap. Hey, yeah. What yes. is the name of your company? Uh, is TV Group. Uh, is TV Group. TV Group. S T V. No quiero. No. Okay. Sí, mami. Excellent. Excellent. STB group. Yes. Okay, great. Well, let's see. We are going to take everybody back to the main room. Okay. Cesar, hello, Cesar. Hello, teacher. Hello, Good everybody. Evening. Good evening. Okay, Cesar. Homework. Tell me your sentences. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to, but Jennifer told me, please ask Cesar the sentences. Right now, she told me. Me? Yeah, you did. You asked. You told me to. I'm kidding. Please, Cesar, tell me. Okay, teacher. There is a TV in the living room. Okay. There is. Uh, there are two bats in my house. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh, there are five orange in the refrigerator. Refri 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 refrigerator. Refrigerator. Okay, I'm sorry, Cesar, I will interrupt you. Instead of saying in the refrigerator, you can just say in the fridge. In the fridge. Fridge. Look at the screen. Fridge. Yes. Fridge. People in the United States, they don't say in the refrigerator. They say in the fridge. Fridge. Okay. Like in Espanol, refri. Yeah, the same, short. <laughs> fridge is short okay. for refrigerator. Okay. Please continue. Okay. There are many toys in my daughter's room. Room. Okay, yeah, that's right. Kids are like that. Yes. There is a car in front of my house. I hope it's yours. There is six in front of my house. Okay, great. Uh, there is a bed in my bedroom. Bedroom. A bed. Bedroom. Bed. Bed? bed in my bedroom in my bedroom okay, okay. Great. thank you very much by the thank way you. thank you cesar excellent please don't forget cesar to take the picture of the sentence and send them to me okay by the way jennifer your homework you gave it to me what is this later great excellent don't worry, I will save that homework for later. Okay, so let's see. Uh, and then, and then, let's see who's going to start. Marcos and Jenny, you start. Okay. okay. Teacher, sería así como acaba de contestar César, solo decir lo que no, hay no, no. en los... César was giving me the previous homework. César me estaba dando la tarea. Ah, sorry. Eh, eh, Jennifer. Eh, no, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, eh, you were from your home or for your office? 
¿Qué más hay? Eh, Jenny, eh, in her home, there is, there is a TV. Is there a TV? Is there a TV? There is uh, one TV in my living room. Uh, there is a um, phone. Uh, there is a uh, uh, phone, only a cell phone. Okay. Uh, there is a window. Uh, there there are, are window. Is there a okay. window? Is there a window? Uh, there isn't a window. There are a five windows. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. The question is okay, Jenny. He can ask you, hey, Jenny, tell me, is there a window? And you tell me, oh, there are five windows. Okay? As, as the person who is asking doesn't know, the person can ask, is there a window? And you can say, yes, there are five windows. You are specific when you answer. Okay? Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I will clarify this for everybody. Perdón, explicar en español. Como la persona que nos pregunta no sabe realmente, puede preguntarnos en singular y nosotros contestar en plural. He was yeah. asking, is there a window? ¿Hay alguna ventana? And she says, oh, yes, there are five windows. Please continue. Uh, perfect. Okay. Jenny, eh, in the house, eh, there is eh, Sugar for for your coffee. Uh, mm, there is uh, some sugar in, in my kitchen for my coffee. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Marcos, as you? Yes. Uh, Marcos, uh, there is uh, one cat in your home there are one cat in my house okay uh, marcos uh, there are a uh, five pictures in your living room mm, there are not okay uh, Marcos, there are uh, children in the in your home. There are one children in my house. And that's, as there is, there is one child. There is, what there there is there? one child, or there is one kid. Actually, okay. when we are speaking, we can say. Cuando estamos hablando y nos referimos a niños, podemos decir kid o kids. Kid. Okay. Is children? It's also okay. But when you are talking about like in your house, you say kids. Cuando kids. hablamos de nuestra casa, decimos kids, los niños. Okay. When you Perfect. say children is closer, is more serious. Okay. Uh, okay. Perfect. Okay. Continue or, or termine, finish. <laughs> okay, that's okay, that's okay. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Who's missing? Well, let me take the attendance. Okay, let's see. Carlos, Alberto, Menendez. Present. Thank you. Mayra Eliana Corleto. Present. Thanks. Ana Maria Palacios. Present, teacher. Thank you. Erika del Carmen Colocho. Present. Perfect. Mabel and Michelle, absent. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso de Alas. Present. Thank you. 
José Reinaldo Absent, Claudia Patricia, I saw her around. ¿Verdad que se conectó Claudia? Yeah, I saw her for a few seconds. ¿Quién es Claudia Teacher? Nunca la he, la he oído. Yes, Colo sometimes. Yeah, mm. she's curly. She connects sometimes. Okay. Andrés Alberto Orellana. No present. No present. Man, Cesar, where did you live, Andrew? <laughs> no, eh, eh, he traveled to to Soyapango. Oh, where been where, been where his where his mother? He must be in traffic. traffic. Yes, traffic. terrible traffic. Okay, Cesar Humberto Lopez. Present. Thank you. Jenny Lisette Escobar. Present. Thanks. Uh, Vicente Alexander Reyes. Present. Great. Daniel Arturo Montes. Thank you. Mayra Lisette Valladares. Present. Thanks. Marcos Ivan Martinez. Present. Thank you, Marcos. Chrissy Madeline absent. Jose Versolis absent. Uh, Maybelline Janira absent. Carla Ivonne absent. And Julio Alonso Duran absent. Okay, now let's see. By the way, guys, I'm going to be saying your name and I will say a number, okay? So write down that number is very important. I will say your name and write down a number, the number that I will say. So let's see. Hey. Sorry, man. Cesar, number one. Mayra. Mayra Iliana Corleto, number two. Mm. Uh, let's see. Mayra Lisset Valladares. Number three, Daniel Arturo Montes. Number four, Erika del Carmen Colocho. Number, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Claudia Patricia is number five. Well, Claudia is not here, but I will let her know. Ana Maria Palacios, number six. Let's see. Jenny Lisette Escobar, number seven. Okay. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso de Alas, number eight. Carlos Alberto Menéndez, number nine. Erika de Carmen Colocho, number ten. Andrés Alberto Orellana, eleven. Marcos Ivan Martinez, 12. Number 12. And Vicente Alexander Reyes, number 13. So Cesar is the first one. Cesar goes tomorrow. For tomorrow is Cesar, Mayra, both Mayras, okay? Mayra Iliana and Mayra Lisette. Eh, Daniel Arturo Montes, Claudia Patricia, Ana María Palacios, and that's it. That's for tomorrow. Six persons tomorrow. Do you remember that I told you that we are going to make a small presentation? Okay, the first six, the first, the, the, from number one to number six, tomorrow, okay? Teacher. Yes. Um, tomorrow is presentation. Yes, in your case, With... at the end of the class, <laughs> remember that we are going to stay a few minutes later to make a small practice. That's tomorrow. The rest of you, the numero siete al trece on Friday. Okay, so Vicente, I'm sorry, you are going to be the last. Okay, he's going to close the course. Teacher. Perfect, teacher. Vamos a tener la clase. Ah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, Jennifer. 
Siempre vamos a tener la clase. Yes, yeah, sure. This is the thing is that I told you that we need I need to make a small evaluation about your speaking. Okay. And tomorrow and Friday we are going to stay 15 minutes later. Oh, it's just that you disconnect yesterday. Usted se me desconectó ayer. Okay, we are going to stay like 10, 15 minutes, not that much. Nos dijo 15 minutos, nos vamos a quedar in order to uh, work because I have been checking all the plans and I feel that there are certain points that are missing. Siento que hay algunos pequeños puntos que debemos mejorar. But, yes, Ileana, in a few seconds. Uh, but uh, I am... I am willing to help you after the course ends. Estoy en la disposición de ayudarles después de que el curso termine. But I need also to evaluate okay. how to. Necesito evaluar cómo. Or in which areas each one of you needs extra help. How am I going to do it? ¿Cómo voy a sacar yo esa información? In a small presentation that you're going to create. From two to three minutes. Okay? Minimum two minutes. Max Three minutes. Okay. What are you going to do? myself, right? Okay. Right now I'm going with example. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Douglas Arevalo. Uh, I am an English teacher. I am 40 years old. Uh, I teach English since the year 2000. I teach English in all levels from little kids to adults. But in my case, I prefer to work with adults. Okay? That's my my specialty. Now, what do I do when I am working? Well, I prepare classes every day. I have to check exams. I have to grade exams. I have to plan my classes. And let me tell you a little bit about my daily routine. When I am working, when I have to go to the school, I wake up around six in the morning. I take a shower, class, uh, get dressed, I change, and I leave my house at 6.30. I arrive to my job at seven o'clock. I sign in at seven. During the day, I teach many classes. I have lunch at noon. I start my afternoon classes at 12.30. And I finish teaching classes at school at 5 p.m. Then I come home and I teach these classes at night. Around midnight, I go to sleep. Uh, what else? Well, I live in San Martin. I live with my wife. I have one son. He is 18 years old. And in my house, there are there are, let me see, uh, two bedrooms in my house. There are two bedrooms, uh, one studio, two, two full bathrooms. There's a patio and there's a garage. There's the living room, the dining room and the kitchen all separated and there's there's a washing room. Hay una habitación que es la lavandería. There's a washing room. And well, that's it. Y eso es todo. Okay. As far as you can see, como pueden ver, what did I use? Only vocabulary that we have worked with. Si usted notó en lo que yo estuve hablando, todo el vocabulario que utilizó, que utilicé, es vocabulario que hemos visto. I stay just with simple present. Me mantuve solo con presente simple. Utilicé at para referirme a tiempo. I use 
preposition of place in my house. Okay. I use there is, there are. I talk about my routine, my daily routine. I introduce myself. Me presenté a mí mismo. And what did I use? Nothing big, special. Just vocabulary from the class. Como pueden notar, estuve hablando alrededor de tres minutos y utilicé solamente vocabulario que hemos visto en la clase. So that means that it's not that complex. Think about it. Don't make it complex, okay? Just remember, go over everything we have. We have a studio. And remember, it's just talking about yourself, about what you do, and about the things that are there in your places, in your workplaces, or in your house. In my case, I choose my house. You can choose your workplace if you want. No es necesario que hablen sobre su casa, puede hablar sobre su lugar de trabajo si usted quiere. Is it clear what you are going to do? ¿Se entendió lo que van a hacer? Yes? Yes. Okay, okay. So, don't be nervous. Tomorrow, during the day, I will have time if you have any doubt about any part of the pronunciation of any word. You can send it to me and I will help you with the pronunciation, okay? Don't worry about it. Si tenemos alguna duda con la pronunciación de alguna palabra o algo, mándeme la palabra, yo, I will send you the audio, okay? So, don't worry, it's not going to be that, that difficult. It's not difficult. As you can see right now, in the little presentation I did, it's just the vocabulary we have been working with. Solamente el vocabulario con el que hemos estado trabajando. Okay? Nothing like big, out of this world. Nada fuera de este mundo. Any question? Preguntas? This is the perfect moment for the question. Es el momento perfecto para las preguntas. Teacher. Yes, tell me. That's the exam. No. Okay. The exam is the exam that appears in the platform. Okay. El examen, el examen en sí que aparece en la plataforma. But this is like an extra activity that I am giving for you so I can help you improve speaking. The platform focus on writing, understanding. La plataforma se enfoca en el, en el writing, reading, understanding, but speaking, we need to reinforce here. Okay, to be clear. Teacher, pero, pero es el que aparece en cuatro partes. Yeah. Oh, I am not sure. No, no, I am no. not sure about that. It doesn't depend on me. It's not on me, okay? Okay. Teacher. Yes, uh, tell me. This, act, this activity uh, will be after the class or inside the class? It's part of the class. It's going to be recorded. It's okay. going to be recorded, okay? It's part of the class. It's part of the class, okay. Yes, Thanks. it's part of the class. I mean, we are going to stay on the class. The only difference is that I'm not going to say, hey guys, bye at nine. I'm going to say, hey guys, at 10. I'm going to say bye when we finish that activity, okay? So we are going to say just a few minutes because as I told you, it's just three, uh, it's like 12 minutes, 15 minutes talks, okay? It's not that much. And remember, the benefit is for you. So, I mean, I, appreciate, I would appreciate it, really appreciate it if you stay. Me encantaría que nos quedemos todos because the benefit is for you guys. And please, if you finish your activity on, I mean, like Cesar says, oh, I'm the first one. So on Friday, I won't stay. Please, Cesar, stay on Friday. Como Cesar es el primero, no me va a decir el viernes. Mire, yo ya lo dije, así que I go. Please stay because also remember, we also learn from listening to the rest of the classmates. Not just for me. You are not learning just for me. You are also learning from your classmates. When you are a, when you identify perhaps a mistake in your classmate, you are learning. But let's stop with that. Let's continue. Let's see. Uh, we prepare a conversation, right? Marcos and Jenny did it already. 
Now let's see, Vicente, please. Hello. ¿Con quién trabajo? Eric. Hello, Erika. Hello, Vicente. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, very good. You work in an office? Yes. Okay. Are there any tools in your office? Yes, they are. Okay, perfect. Is there oasis in your job? In your job? Yes, there is. Oasis. Okay. Oasis. Okay. okay, perfect. And is there coffee maker in your office? Yes, there is. Okay. Okay. Uh, Vicente, is there an engineer in your job? Is there an engineer? Uh, engineer in your job. No, there isn't. Okay. Is there a pardon, is there a floor manager in your job? Yes, there is. Okay. Are there coffee shop next to job? No, no, there aren't. Okay. Okay, perfect. It was very good. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. Uh, Mayra. Hello. Hello. Who, who did you work with? Con quien me trabajo? Uh, with Cesar and Carlos. Okay, let's do it. Cesar, okay. Carlos. Cesar, do you work today? Yes, I do. Are there blackboard in your work? Yes, there are uh, two blackboard. Is is there garage in your work? In my work. Yes. Yeah. Yes, in my work. Yeah, there there are. Are there place to shop? For food? Yes, there are. Places, places. Places. Yes, are there, there are places. places to shop for food? Yes, there are places. Yes, okay. And are there bank near in your work? Yes, there are. There are banks. Near your workplace. Near your workplace. Or you can just say near your job. Near your job. Okay, thank Enjoy. you very much. Okay. Cesar, please. Uh, okay. Who you are you going to ask? Carlos. Uh, Carlos. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> okay, Carlos. Uh, uh, tell me about about your house. Where do you live, Carlos? Yes, there are. Where do you live, Carlos? Where do you live? Donde vive? Oh, perdón. <laughs> oh, sí. uh, I live in, in the other side. Okay. Okay. Are there restaurants near your house? Uh, 
Uh, Are there restaurants near your house? No, no, there, no, there is isn't. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay. Uh, are there a pool in your house? Uh, is there a pool, Cesar? Is there a pool in your uh, house? Is, is there a pool in your house? Uh, a pool, yes, perdón. Piscina. Okay. No, there aren't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. And no, are, there, are there pits in your house? Pits? Pets. Pets. Are there pets in your house? Mascotas. Oh. Yes, there are. <laughs> How many pets? One. One pet. Okay. One. Thanks, Carlos. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for the rest of you, but we need to move on to the next activity. Okay. But I was checking from group to group that you did it. So let's see. Right now, guys, uh, we need to talk a little bit about adjectives. I told you yesterday that we were going to work with adjectives. So let's start with adjectives. You know, uh, in the manual, in page 44, appears how to use adjectives before nouns, okay? This is very important because in Spanish, uh, it, it works the other way around. And let me explain this. In Spanish, when we are talking about adjectives, in Spanish, the adjective comes after the noun. But in English, the adjective comes before the noun. Like, look, let's see. Cesar, can you describe this bottle? Okay, just... Uh... This bottle is uh, silver. Okay. It's metallic. Okay. You can uh, say, say water, coffee, okay. and others. Uh, I, can, I can bore myself with coffee, but okay, that's enough. Thank you. Okay. As you okay. can see, what Cesar did was use the adjectives to describe the qualities, okay? Adjectives are used to that. They are, they are used for describing. But remember, okay, this is a silver metallic bottle. In Spanish, we would say it the other way. In español diríamos, esta botella es metálica plateada. But in English, the word bottle goes to the end. This is a silver metallic bottle. Be, be careful with that, okay? This is a black cell phone, okay? This is a black cell phone. And we can say that this is, you see this and this, we can say that this is a small cell phone. This is bigger. This is a small cell phone. Small, chiquito, ¿verdad? Pero siempre si se fija el nombre del artículo que estoy describiendo, at the end, al final. In Spanish is different. En español digo, ah, este es un celular pequeño. No digo un pequeño celular. But in English, you change the position. And that Fish says, bottle. yes. What is botella? Bottle. Uh -huh. Yes. Bottle. Bottle, botella. Yes, bottle. Okay. Okay. Oh, by the way, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Hi, teacher. Good night. Okay, Andres. You ride with Cesar, no? Usted viaja con Cesar, verdad? Yes, Ah. Um... Uh, today is living in Soyapango. Okay, with traffic no jam, 
horrible. <laughs> no problem. No, I mean because Cesar will explain you about the activity. You are number 11. Usted es el número 11. Cesar, okay. can you explain to him tomorrow, perhaps? Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, Thanks. Okay. So, let's go back to the explanation. This is very simple. When we talk about adjectives, this is the easiest thing. Look, there are comfortable rooms. Comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. Look at the words. Comfortable rooms. Uh, como. Huge. Inmenso. Nice. Bonito, agradable. Illuminated. Okay. In this case, they have placed them as positive adjectives because they are saying good things. Lo han puesto como adjetivos positivos porque están diciendo cosas buenas, ¿no? Comfortable, huge, nice, illuminated. Negative. Narrow. Small. Disgusting. Smelly. Look at the sentence. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Okay? But, let's see. Adjectives. Adjectives are very simple. So, let's see. But, uh, it's, but it's narrow, teacher. Look. Wide. Narrow. And angosto. Exactly. Angosto. angosto. That's narrow. Okay. The opposite is wide. Okay. El opuesto es wide. So, let's see. Adjective. ¿Cómo se escribe wide? Porque suena como blanco. Exactly. That was I going to write to you. Era exactamente lo que les iba a escribir. Wide. Okay. Adjectives. Let's see. Let's remember, imagine that you are in your office or in your house. Think about adjectives, words that can describe those places. Now, let's start. Vicente, please, give me two adjectives. Two adjectives. Small, big, clean, dirty. Okay. Fresh. Fresh, okay. Fresh. Tall. Beautiful. Tall. Beautiful. What did you say, Jennifer? Tall. Tall. Okay, what else? Little. Oh. Little. Excellent. Jenny, your turn. Um, positive adjective or negative just adjectives related to your workplace think about your workplace and think about two words that you will use to describe your workplace piensa en dos palabras que usted utilizaría para describir su lugar de trabajo eh, dos palabras beautiful ok, beautiful oh, beautiful mm -hmm. is already there Another one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Big, uh, small. Good. Good. Okay, great. Good, good ambiente. No sé. Good environment. Good environment. Okay. okay. Another one. I got uh, Es. Uh, order, ordenado. Café. Okay. Remember, we are remembering. Clean. What? What did you say, Jim? Clean. The cleaner. Clean. No se limpio. Clean. 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 Okay. Remember, we are just talking about words that can describe because we are talking about workplaces. Okay. Words that can describe the workplace. So, 
imagine your workplace. When you talk about your workplace, you say you can say that it's clean, that is big, that is empty, that is busy. Hot. Caluroso, como se dice? Hot. Hot. Perfect. Uh, Vicente says fresh. Andres says, oh, in my case, it's different. He says he's hot. And cool. you can say cool. Some places are cool. Or some places are cold. Cool is nice. Cold is like, oh. okay. Uh, some places perhaps are busy. Hay lugares que son muy ocupados. Many people moving. Uh, ugly. Some, relaxing. Ugly. Some, yeah, some, some places are ugly. Yeah. <laughs> horrible. They can be horrible. What else? What else? What else? Quiet. 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 Yes. Some areas perhaps are dirty. Teacher, para decir que es transitado. Busy, you can say busy. When you refer to a workplace, you say, oh, it's a busy location. A busy location. Busy. Busy. Yes, is the word that I wrote, uh, es la palabra que les puse abajo de empty. I will write it again for you. Busy. Okay, can you see it in the chat? La puede ver en el chat? Busy. Okay, what else? What else? Are there more words? When we talk about adjectives, dark. plenty. Dark. Yes, dark. thank you. Dark. Illuminated. The opposite, no? Lonely. 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 Solitario. Como lento o algo Oh, slow. Slow. Slowly is lentamente. That's an adverb. We are talking about adjectives. So in this case, boring. Slow. Boring, yes. And sometimes when the day is, uh, when you have a slow day, it can be boring. Cuando uno tiene un día lento, it can be boring. You feel that it's very long. Long. You can refer that. We have long days. Short. Short. Yes, short. Sure. Uh, the other day, Cesar told me, oh, I had a good day. When you have a good day, you have many things to do that you like. You feel the day short. But when you have activities that you don't like, you feel the day that is long. long. Yeah. Stressful. Relax. Those words can be applied to your workplace. Okay. Keep in mind that vocabulary. We are going to use it later on. Tenga en mente ese vocabulario. Lo vamos a usar un poco dentro de unos minutos, okay? But right now, let's make a small exercise. We are going to see vocabulary adjectives, but in other contexts. This vocabulary, we were just focused on workplaces. Now we are going to talk about vocabulary from different situations. So let's see. We are going to talk about people. Okay. Let's see personality. How is the people? Let's see. Let's see. Look at this person. How would you describe him or her? Okay. Cesar, how do you think this person is? Uh, she is happy. Happy, perfect. Yeah, he's got money. He's happy. Mm -hmm. But when people give money to each to somebody else, they are generous. Okay, the persons can be generous. Now let's see, uh, Jennifer. Look, this person is trying to get the best higher. How would you describe? How would you describe this person? Mm 
exciting. Okay. Yeah, can be excited. Also, can be somebody ambitious. Okay, excellent. Now, look at this other person. How are they? They are modest. Modest. Okay. In this case, with modest, remember, let's not get confused with humble. Humble, the word that I just texted to you. That's humilde. But remember that humble refers to something else. In this case, when people are not interested in money or success, they are modest. Okay? Let's continue. Look, look at those faces, those attitudes. How are they? Arrogant. We can describe these people are as arrogant. Okay. Now, let's see. We have more adjectives here. Look. These people are very patient. They don't move. It doesn't matter the time. They are patient. Now. Oh, aggressive people. In El Salvador, we don't have that problem, no? Aggressive people, when they drive, is not a problem here. It happens in other countries. Personas que sean así cuando conducen no pasa aquí, ¿verdad? Eso pasa en otros países. It's not in El Salvador. Let's see it. Now, look at these images. What do they refer? Cheerful. Cheerful. That's somebody who is like happy all the time. Motivated. That's when you say that somebody's cheerful. What do you mean in Spanish? Cheerful. Oh, wait a second. I will I will let you know. Okay. You mean what is the meaning of cheerful? Okay, right now I am texting you the meaning. It's uh how do I say it? Alegre. When you say that somebody's cheerful is alegre. Okay, remember, those words are just referring to personalities. Take notes, take notes. You are going to use that vocabulary, okay? Let's see, where was I? Oh, right here. Okay. Now, look. They are considerate. Considerate. Now, look at them. They are faithful or loyal, leal. Okay? Both things refer to the same. Ambas se refieren a lo mismo. Faithful and loyal. Okay? Now, let's see. Reckless. Reckless is somebody who doesn't like uh, care for anything. Somebody who doesn't pay attention. Somebody that is like, oh, I don't care about nothing. That person we can say that is reckless. It's uh, reckless could be in Spanish for us like uh, temerario. Okay. When we say that somebody is reckless, that person is temeraria. Okay, now let's see. Okay. In El Salvador, the old people reek, reek reckless. Reckless. No, not at all. Aquí para nada. Okay, 
Some people are easy going. Easy going. It's like the people that are like always cool, calm, no problem. It's easy to be friends of those people. They are easy going. Aquellas personas que toda la vida están tranquilas, alegres. Es fácil que se llevan con todo el mundo. They are easy going. Okay? Amigables. Could be. Amigables. Yeah. Close to friendly. It's like, uh, let me see. Easy going. It's like uh, tranquilo. That's the specific word. When you say easy going, you are referring to tranquilo. Okay? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I have to look for that one because it's not a word that I like use a lot and I don't translate it. Now, let's see, what about this? Curious, oh yeah. Kids are like this, no? They are very curious, curious, curious. Now, some people are shy, timido. Some people are shy. Then we have selfish. Okay. Some people are selfish. That would be like to say egoista. When you say that somebody is selfish, you are saying that that person is egoista, okay? Be careful with these adjectives. You are going to use it very soon, in a few minutes. Okay. Some people are stubborn stubborn does anybody knows what is stubborn alguien sabe esa palabra orgulloso mm, close close is the people no. very close Imagine that is the person that you say, don't do that, and they do it. And you say, be careful, and they are not. Necio. That's stubborn. Empecinado es la palabra exacta. But, Perudo en salvadoreño. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I was thinking about that. I mean, the most exact word could be empecinado, but here in El Salvador, we don't use it. En El Salvador no decimos así, decimos necio. Ok. Ok, let's continue. Let's see if we have more. Chatty. Chatty or talkative. Ok. Chatty en England. Talkative in the United States. Chat is to conversar. Okay, chat. Use the word chat is conversar. Talkative is a person that likes to talk. Okay, conversador. Okay, there's people who are cowards. Coward. Now, some people are reserved or introverted, whereas some other people are outgoing, extrovert. In this case here, it is missing an R, introverted. Outgoing and extrovertal means the same. Okay, you can trust an honest person. Honest. Well, 
Well, we have an idea here, no? There's Pinocchio. Liar. Unreliable. No tanto mentiroso. Liar is mentiroso. Sino uh, unreliable. Hmm. How do I say this in Spanish? No digno de confianza. That's unreliable. No digno de confianza. And reliable is again que sea digno de confianza. In this case, the little word un means no. Okay. The prefix un, el prefijo when, significa no. Okay. Now let's see. Hard working, a hard working person. Okay, that's trabajador. And then we have lazy. Garfield is the perfect example of lazy. We have creative. We have sensitive. Okay, look at Garfield here. He is emotive, emotional, I'm sorry, emotional. And here we have nervous. Now, before I continue, I will explain to you why am I giving you all this vocabulary. Antes de continuar, les voy a explicar por qué les estoy dando todo este vocabulario. For tomorrow, there are some of you, algunos de ustedes, that got to prepare a presentation, ¿no? Tienen que preparar una presentación. So, uh, like Cesar, uh, let's see, for tomorrow is Cesar, Mayra, uh, Mayra Lisette, um, Daniel, Claudia and Ana Maria, your only homework for tomorrow is the presentation, okay? No, ex, no more homework. Para ustedes mañana solo la presentación. But the rest of you guys, el resto de ustedes, for tomorrow you need to describe for me here in the class. You're going to connect as soon as you connect. It doesn't matter if you connect early or late, as soon as you connect, you're going to describe me. One of three things, una de tres cosas. You're going to describe me. Uh, a place, un lugar, or a person, o una persona, or food, o un platillo, okay? That's why I am giving you vocabulary. The ones who got the presentation tomorrow are going to present that on Friday. Los que tienen la presentación mañana me lo van a hacer. Esa tarea les queda a ustedes para el viernes. Any question? Pregunta? Okay. So we are clear. Para que estemos claros, los que tienen la presentación mañana no tienen esa tarea. El resto de ustedes sí. Los que tienen la presentación mañana tienen esa tarea for Friday, okay? You have to prepare the description of, you, you can choose, usted puede escoger. I am giving you the vocabulary for making the description of a place, a person, or a food, a dish, un platillo. And that's what we are going to do right now. We are going to go to the vocabulary, <clears throat> sorry. The vocabulary related to food. Okay, let's see. Adjectives describing food. Delicious. Yummy. Healthy. 
unhealthy. Delicious, delicioso. Yummy, sabroso. Healthy, saludable. Unhealthy, remember, un means the opposite. Okay? So if this is saludable, unhealthy? No saludable. Exactly, Cesar. Thank you. So look, we have a cake here. The cake can be sweet, rich. Okay. We have tea. It can be bitter, amargo. We have lemons. Okay, how's the taste of lemons? ¿Cómo es el sabor de los limones? Ácido, ácido. Sour, sour. Exactly that, Andres. Sour. Now we have here fish, and these are eggs. This is salty, salado. Oh, look, we have hot peppers. How are hot peppers? Look, this is a shrimp soup. Spicy, picante, spicy. Cuando queremos decir que algo es picante, decimos spicy. <clears throat> we have bread. What can we say about bread? It's bland. Bland. Oh, bacon. Mm, delicious. But greasy. Grasoso. Oily. Aceitoso. Oh, we have rolls here. Let's see. They are crispy. How do we say crispy in Spanish? Tostado. Yeah, it could be, no? Crispy. So let's see if there is... Crujiente? Yeah, could also be. Crujiente. Crocante. Crocante. Now, this is a cream. Oh, man, I love these creams. Creams are creamy. Cremoso. Okay? I wonder what's that. Me pregunto qué será eso. Thick. Thick. Espeso. When you refer to a liquid, thick means espeso. Okay? Okay, plain bean curd. Uh, uh, yes. Ralo. What do you say? Ralo. What is it? Watery. Watery. You can say watery. Okay, let's see. Uh, hold on just a second, please. Ouch. Just a second, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I had a problem with my computer. Just give me a second. And what was your last question? I'm sorry, sister. Ralo. Well, you can say watery yes, or yes. you can say thin. When you refer to liquids, because when you refer to a person, like thin is delgado. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, remember, I know that this class has been long because of vocabulary. We are focused on vocabulary today. And remember, it's like, like on Monday, we focus on vocabulary and then to practice. Tomorrow is going to be mostly practice. We are going to be speaking and applying. Okay, guys? So the activities for tomorrow are going to be focused on that. 
Now, before moving on, antes de avanzar, today I have in the private sessions, I have program uh, Marcos from 10 to 10 with 10 minutes. Okay. I have Marcos from 10 to 10, 10. Sounds weird, no? Suena raro. Tengo Marcos programado de 10 a 10, 10. But I have extra time. Uh, does anybody of you need any extra help? Well, if you want to connect, let me know and I can tell you because I have, I will be here until 11. Voy a estar aquí hasta las 11. Connected in the other link. So if you need any extra help, please connect. Perhaps, uh, well, I don't know. Cesar is going to be working on his presentation perhaps for tomorrow. If you need any extra help, I'll be here so you can connect. So if you have any question, I will have time for you guys. Now let's continue. Let's make a small exercise because it's been like a little bit stressful this class for us today. Let's see, we are going to make a small game. Okay, have you seen this man? It's one L, silly Billy. Silly, silly is like tonto. Okay, remember, you have to read the descriptions and click on the right name to catch the bank robbers. So let's see, I'm going to have here all the participants and I'm going to see who's going to be answering first and who's going to be later. Okay, let's see. And what, is, what is it, robbers? Robbers, thief, robbers? ladrones. Okay. So we have to read the description, the description, to see who is the person. Let's see. Okay, he is. He has got blue eyes and fair hair. He is wearing a blue shirt, a brown hat, brown trousers, and gray shoes. Caesar, tell me who is it? Silly Billy, Smiley Kid, or Cocky Joe? Uh, is smiley kid smiley kid let's see smiley kid blue eyes fair hair fair okay. hair it means blonde esto quiere decir cabello claro okay he is wearing usa a blue shirt a brown hat brown trousers trousers el tipo de pantalón and gray shoes so you say smiley kill. Oh no! Thank you. You got it. Now let's see Jennifer. Tell me who's this one? He has got a big mustache. He is wearing a brown hat, a brown vest, brown trousers, and brown boots. Who is it? Uh, skinny Jim. Skinny Jim. Let's see. Oh no! Perfect. Now, let's check vocabulary. Mustache. Do you know what is a mustache? Bigote. Yes. We know hat, best. Best is this, chaleco. Okay? Now, let's see. Oh. What else we got? He has got blue eyes and a big mustache. He's wearing a dark blue hat, a light blue shirt, blue trousers, and brown boots. Ileana, tell me, who's this one? Angry Team, Silly Billy, or Naughty Jack? Um, I think... Angry Team, creo que dice ahí. Angry. Angry Team. Okay. These are adjectives. Angry, silly, naughty. Uh-oh. He escaped from you, Ileana. It was an angry team. Silly Billy. Come on, Ileana. <laughs> it was naughty, Jack. 
Look, blue eyes, big mustache. He's wearing a dark blue hat. Okay, light blue shirt, camisa celeste, blue trouser, pantalón azul, and brown boots. So it is. Now it's. Oh no! Thank you, Liana. Let's see, let's see, Jenny. Tell me, who's this one? Big mustache, brown hat, white shirt, red scarf, blue jeans, and brown boots. Uh, silly Billy. Sure? No. <laughs> he has got blue eyes. Uh, see, mustache, he's wearing brown, a uh, white shirt, and red. See, it's Silly Billy. Silly Billy, perfect. Oh no! Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, Marcos. He has got a big mustache. He's wearing a big gray hat, a red scarf, a gray shirt, blue jeans, and black boots. Cookie Joe. Cookie Joe. Joe. See? Big mustache, big gray hat, red scarf, gray shirt, blue jeans, and black boots. Oh, no! Perfect. Thank you, Marcos. Now, Mayra Valladares, tell me. He's wearing a pro. Angry team. He's tall and thin, wearing a brown hat, blue shirt, a brown vest, brown trouser. Okay, we have angry team, buddy party, and little Johnny, and she said angry team. Oh no! Perfect, thank you. Now let's see, Daniel, that's for you. Um, you said about the uh, small thing is. He is wearing a white hat. He is a fair. I like to see that too. It's body party. Body party. Okay, let's see. He says brown bird and small eyes. Brown bird. Baraba. A gray hat. Gray hat. With a feather. Una pluma. Feather. Red shirt. Black trousers. Brown boots with big spurs. These are the spurs. Uh, espuelas. Thank you very much. You say body party. Oh no! Perfect. Vicente, this is yours. Yes, short. Uh, and a big mustache. He's wearing a real hat, white shirt. Little Johnny. Little Johnny, yeah, it's easy. It's the only one with white shirt, no? Thank yes. you. Oh no! Perfect. Okay, guys, thank you very much. It was very simple, no? Very, very simple. As you can see, that game is going to help the ones who decide to describe a person that's the way how you describe you can bring a picture for the describing or you can just make the description of the person okay well let's see guys thank you very much i am sorry that i need to cut this session and open the other one i'll be waiting for any one of you who wants to connect and have a little chat if you need any help with something please don't forget the activities for tomorrow. No olvidamos las actividades para mañana. Remember, these are the last days. Try to connect the earliest possible, okay? Because we need to cover a lot of information. It's going to be interesting and I need you here, okay? Have a good one. Good night. Rest. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.